Welcome back. The FBI has tried to solve a mystery in Missouri after a museum heist there. The question, who made off with most of a set of Andy Warhol prints of those iconic Campbell's soup cans worth big money? NBC's Kevin Tibbles has details. The most recognizable cans of soup in the world are also the most precious. So much so that seven, part of a set of ten, valued at just under half a million dollars, were snatched from the walls of Missouri's Springfield Art Museum. The theft of these iconic Warhol prints feels like the loss of a family member. Created in 1968 by that pop star of pop artist Andy Warhol, the prints were part of a series entitled Campbell's Soup One. So when people say Andy Warhol, they think of the soup can. The FBI, which is investigating this caper, says it's a big time crime. Adding between four and six billion dollars worth of art is stolen each year. These thieves were picked up by video surveillance in Norway, grabbing a 4,000 year old Chinese vase in 2013. And just last month, 13 suspects were arrested for the November theft of 17 paintings from an Italian art museum, valued at around $16 million. Pilfering Picassos has even become a staple in Hollywood action flicks. It took Pierce Brosnan just seconds to elude museum security in the Thomas Crown Affair. The Springfield Art Museum does not have security staff after hours when the paintings were allegedly stolen. Tonight, a $25,000 reward is being offered to anyone who might help lead the authorities to seven very cherished tins of soup. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News. Chicago. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.